I, I'm glad you brought that up because it reminds me of in my weekly newsletter blog, which feeds my weekly podcast, which it's like the pillar of everything, all content. I, I made this point and I said, when you're talking about people, one plus one equals greater than two. And just that like math equation was something that for me, it resonated in my brain. So, you know, I articulated that. And so obviously it was still back there in the archive somewhere because that, that came yeah. back, but it's true. I mean, and there's also that, I was just thinking about this yesterday. You hear people say, and I can't say this from experience because I haven't done both and, but they say, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, work with others. And I think there's a lot of truth to that from what I can tell, but I've worked alone and I've only moved to a certain, I've only gotten so far so fast. Mm -hmm. And I ask myself without, I think I reflect looking backwards just enough so that I can use that to leverage and move forward better. So I'm not getting caught up in my past, but I'm like, well, what if I had more counsel, more community, more coaching, more, all of those things, I'm thinking of more C words that would work, <laughs> but it's like, if I would have had more of that and not tried to be so solo, I think I would have gone faster. In fact, I'm mm. pretty darn certain that I would have. So yeah. there is a bit of a flaw. That's not like a full, like scientific law that you can like, you know, nail up to the wall and never change it. Like it depends on what we're talking about, but in general, if you want to go far, if you want to go fast, if you want to find purpose, if you want fulfillment, if you want to have more good weeks than bad <clears throat> weeks overall with the aim that you have in business and just how you feel internally through that process, people is the ticket. Like that's the secret sauce to all of it. And we're in a beautiful time <clears throat> where we're hyper connected. I Connect like to with say. Anybody. Like, we're yeah. too connected almost to the point where it, like right. we get in our own way and we don't right. know which stuff on the feed to pay attention to or not. And it kind of circles back to that, you know, yeah. but the essence of it all, like boiling down to fundamentals, it's like, Focus on people and yeah. allow yourself do the rest of the world a service by putting yourself out there because your story, <laughs> your opinions, your feelings, your the things that you know, the things that you're working on learning, the questions that you have, you're doing a disservice by not showing up online for people to be able to piggyback off of because it's like you can hear the same advice given a hundred times, but it's on that hundred and first time said by this person minus all of the other people that it finally stuck, mm -hmm. you know? So like for you, the life principle Clicks. of like the boat motors, like that's the thing mm -hmm. for you that reminds you of that principle. For me, it's the one plus one equals greater than two, you know? So it's just, it's, everybody has their flavor, you know? Yeah, so I think the solopreneur business movement is fantastic. Like I really, I mean, I would say like right now, Justin Welsh is probably my favorite creator by far online. I just, I love his content and I like his way of thinking and I've, you know, been able to have some interactions with him and I think he's just a really good guy. You know, he's a really nice guy. I think that where people, what people don't see is how collaborative he is as an individual and like he is a solopreneur, but he JVs with people. Right. Like there's a couple people, like if you look back on some of his pictures, like he's taking pictures with people that he's met and grown with on X, formerly mm -hmm. Twitter, and they're like connecting in person now. Yeah. And that's the thing is like you can have a solo business, but if you're going to do that, you still need people. You just don't need them to be stakeholders, right? In your right. company, you know, you just need to find what are the things that I have that they don't have and they need, and what are the things that they have that I don't have and I need. And it's that yin and yang duality and balance that, and there's a, I'm going to go really sciencey nerdy on you for a minute because I've, I've really like dug in on this principle. Another thing that kind of laid the foundation for that viewpoint of partnerships and JVs was my grandpa would always say, he's like, you don't need a part. He, he was my business mentor. He'd say, you don't need a partner who can tell you something you already know or who has something you already have. He said, so if you don't have money, but you have skill, you need a partner who has money. If you do have money, but no skill, you need a partner that has skills. He said, what you don't want is a partnership with two people who have no, who have skills, but no resources or money, but no skills. And I've always viewed business that way. If you want more content like this, make sure you follow. I've got plenty more coming your way. Peace. Peace.